Hey everyone, and um, thanks for uh, watching this video on the AKS um, Community YouTube channel. Um, my name is Naranjan. Um, I'm currently a software engineer at AKS, uh, working on the um, Itzio AKS add-on, um, and I've been focusing on uh, mesh configurations, um, north-south traffic, and um, also looking into multi-cluster operations and um, policy enforcement. Uh, so in this video today, um, I'm going to be covering uh, how to configure the Itzio add-on um, using the mesh config and custom resources. So um, there are three main avenues of configuring um, the Itzio add-on for AKS. Uh, so uh, one of these uh, is uh, installation values or um, Helm values. Um, so these are fields that we expose through ARM and uh, you would uh, typically set these upon enabling the mesh or enabling um, your uh, ingress gateways. Um, uh, the other option is um, uh, mesh config, uh, which can be updated dynamically um, after installation. So the mesh config in Itzio is a subset of the Itzio config map. And uh, these are settings that uh, typically a mesh administrator would use uh, to apply globally across the mesh. And this can be done both for the control plane. Um, and uh, there's also a field within mesh config ca called the default config or proxy config, uh, which you can use um, to configure um, all of your Envoy sidecars in the mesh. And uh, the third way is uh, through custom resources. So uh, these are dedicated APIs for customizing specific features. Um, so uh, for example, um, observability in the mesh would be configurable through the telemetry API. Um, and uh, for example, outbound traffic, you would also use you know, service entries, virtual services, and, and gateways. Um, so uh, yeah, again, the main difference here is that these are dedicated APIs for specific purposes. And um, you could also target these towards specific namespaces um, or individual workloads. So um, one important thing to understand, whether you're using the mesh config or the uh, different custom resources Istio has to offer um, is the support policies that we have for the add-on. So um, supported means that uh, the specific feature or customization option that you're using, um, it's allowed and you'll also receive full support uh, from Azure for it and uh, from our product group. Um, and um, we use the open source Itzio feature status to help gauge um, which options are production ready. And most beta and stable level features um, we uh, support, though there are some exceptions and we can cover that. Um, so unsupported, um, also known as allowed, but unsupported means that the feature is allowed, but um, it's not uh, officially covered by Azure support. So if you run into issues with it, um, you won't be able to get um, uh, help from Azure or AKS support for troubleshooting or debugging um, features and configurations related to that error that you're experiencing. And uh, this is common for uh, various third party and open source integrations, uh, for example, with external authorization using open policy agent or uh, for telemetry, um, uh, doing uh, telemetry collection and processing with open telemetry. Um, and there are some other examples um, as well. Uh, so, um, and the third uh, category is disallowed. So these are blocked outright by um, add-on managed admissions, uh, admission webhooks. And these are not recommended and unsafe for production and uh, um, definitely avoid at all costs um, because this is disallowed and uh, not uh, covered at all um, by Azure support. So um, first we'll talk about the uh, mesh config with uh, the Istio add-on. So uh, changes to the default mesh config are disallowed. So um, what operators should do instead is they should create a shared config map um, in the uh, AKS Istio system um, root namespace. Um, and uh, so for example, if you're using ASM uh, 120, uh, you would have the Itzio shared config map ASM120 there. And these must be specified per revision and uh, per control plane. Um, and then what Itzio does is it takes this shared mesh config and then 
it merges that uh, with the default. Um, but um, again, the default can't be edited uh, by the users, um, but this default mesh config would take precedence over the shared if there are conflicts. Um, another important caveat with mesh config is for canary upgrades, uh, minor revision upgrades, um, you need to create a new shared uh, config map in the AKS its uses in me space for the new control plane revision. And then you need to copy settings from the old to the new for uh, um, the new control plane um, to uh, take in those uh, settings. Um, and uh, if you're curious uh, for more information about the minor revision upgrade process, uh, definitely check out the other uh, video in the YouTube series. Um, about canary upgrades and also uh, look at the upgrade doc in our official documentation. So here's an example of some um, different uh, mesh config options that we allow. So some of these are, again, um, allowed and supported. Uh, some of these are allowed but unsupported. Um, so uh, for instance, traffic management, um, you could use you know, outbound traffic policy, um, that's something that uh, is supported uh, with something like HTTP retry policy is unsupported. Um, instead, you could use a different custom resource for that. Um, and so here are some examples, access logging for observability um, and trust domain and CA certificates for some of the security related mesh config options. And um, yeah, if you're curious about an example uh, for what a valid mesh config would look like, uh, you could uh, use this example here. Um, and we also have um, other examples in our uh, documentation and troubleshooting guides. So now jumping to custom resources. So um, most, uh, again, stable and beta Istio APIs are supported. Um, for instance, gateways, virtual services, destination rules, um, and for in terms of security, peer authentication for MTLS, and then authorization policies. Um, so these are uh, pretty commonly used APIs and something that you'd receive support for. Um, one uh, example of something uh, which uh, kind of falls into that allowed but unsupported territory would be uh, some of the telemetry API options. So um, we do support telemetry API for ASM 122 um, and higher for the API version V1. Uh, so when telemetry API was promoted to V1 in open source Istio, um, however, uh, for third-party and open-source integrations uh, through the telemetry API, um, these uh, are allowed um, but are not covered by Azure support. And instead, uh, if possible, we would recommend to use um, Azure managed um, observability uh, options such as Container Insights or Azure managed Prometheus um, to receive support from Azure. Um, and uh, Envoy Filter is another uh, custom resource that um, we um, uh, allow for three um, specific types. Uh, we allow Lua compressor and local rate limiting, but all other uh, Envoy filters are disallowed. And um, this is, again, something to still use with caution as this is alpha in open source Istio and it's a direct customization of the Envoy configuration. So it's very error prone um, and uh, it should be used by uh, mesh administrators judiciously. So now um, just to jump to a quick demo of kind of putting all these things together. Uh, so we'll take a look at uh, invalid shared mesh config, valid one with access logging, uh, an invalid telemetry API, and then a valid telemetry API resource for the add-on. And then we'll see um, how this is able, the telemetry API is able to target uh, resources um, at it, uh, for, for a particular workload, whereas the mesh config applies globally for access logging across the mesh. Um, right, so uh, jumping to uh, our uh, terminal here. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. Um, but yes, hopefully uh, you can see that. So uh, just kind of look at the setup here. We have um, ASM 122 installed, and um, I have two pods, HTTP bin and sleep. Um, injected with sidecars in the mesh. Um, and uh, we'll start off uh, taking a look at an example of um, what happens when we try to apply an invalid mesh config. So this mesh config is using a disallowed field called um, 
like the root namespace. So we see that if we try to um, apply this, we get an error um, from the uh, admission controller managed by uh, AKS that this is a disallowed value. Um, however, if we try uh, configuring a valid one, so for instance, this mesh config would be valid because it just has this access logging enabled, which again is um, an allowed and it's a supported uh, field uh, within the mesh config. So um, we can uh, try um, applying uh, this valid mesh config. And yes, we could see that we get no errors when we try creating this. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, again, so um, we see that we have HTTP then in sleep. So uh, what I did with that mesh config was that, that I enabled access logging. So um, if I uh, send a request from sleep to HTTP bin, um, OK, uh, we see uh, we get the expected response. And if I look at the logs in both of the sidecar proxies, um, you can see the access logging um, for the, uh, the sleep uh, pod is visible. And if we do the same for HTTP bin, um, we could also see that the uh, access logs are visible. Um, so then now uh, let's take a look at applying a custom resource through the telemetry API. Uh, so let us take a look at an invalid telemetry resource first. Um, again, so um, uh, we're using V1, uh, which is the uh, API version that um, we um, have opened up uh, as part of ASM 122. Uh, however, this is using um, a disallowed uh, field within um, the telemetry API, and we cover this more in our um, official documentation on the telemetry API, but this field here is um, a disallowed field. Uh, so if we try applying this, um, right. yeah, we see that uh, this access logging that filter is a disallowed field for telemetry API. Um, but then um, if we apply a valid telemetry resource, uh, again, so this telemetry API resource would be valid. And if we just take a closer look at it again, this is what this is doing is this is saying, um, I want access logging disabled for this specific workload. So uh, it's using um, the selector for uh, the sleep pod. Um, so it knows that um, it, uh, for sleep, we want access logging disabled. But as we will see for HTTP bin, um, access logging will still be enabled uh, for that. So uh, let's go ahead and apply this telemetry resource. Um, OK, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send another request. Um, from sleep to HTTP bin. Uh, okay, get the expected response. Um, now, if we take a look at the logs, uh, you'll only see one um, access log here. This is be this is the access log that we saw before. We don't see a second one because this was disabled. Um, because access logging was disabled for the sleep pod, um, the sleep uh, application specifically. Um, however, uh, if you look at HTTP bin, uh, we see both because HTTP bin still has access logging enabled. And um, again, the, the purpose of this is just to demonstrate that um, um, mesh config applies globally. Uh, telemetry API you can use and, and is typically recommended for targeting specific workloads. Uh, and um, uh, again, recommended um, because it has that more fine grained uh, customization options. Okay, so um, that was it for a quick demo. Uh, yeah, and um, that pretty much uh, wraps it up for uh, this um, video on the HDO add-on mesh customization. Um, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, definitely check out the other videos in our series. Um, so uh, you could uh, look through um, the, uh, the AKS Community YouTube channel, and you should see some of the other HDO add-on videos that we have in our series. And we also have um, several um, uh, new features upcoming, and uh, we're excited to showcase those uh, those as well. So definitely stay posted. Um, in terms of other uh, next steps, um, if you have feedback and feature requests about the add-on, please uh, leave issues in uh, the AKS GitHub repository. Um, so you could leave an issue. Um, the AKS GitHub repo, 
um, with the service mesh label. Um, this helps us a lot kind of track customer feature requests and prioritize these internally. Um, and it's very helpful to us. So uh, please leave your thoughts um, in that GitHub repo. Um, another thing to check out is uh, I was talking about Itstio feature status. I uh, definitely check out our, uh, the open source Itstio documentation to understand these different feature status, uh, th these feature stages. So um, what does it mean to be alpha versus beta versus stable? Um, and the Istio documentation covers that. And uh, we also cover um, um, our different features and customization options and the different support tiers uh, in our documentation. Um, so uh, yes, feel free to look through that. And um, yes, uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, joining me today and uh, I hope you found this useful and uh, best of luck with uh, your Istio usage on AKS.